game is simple. One rig, eight extruders, and they compete against each other in a brutal game of Tark of War. There is only one winner, which will receive the honor of printing the upcoming large projects on the Optimus P1 3D printer. This includes the 3D printed guitar and 3D printed wheels for a Mercedes. We are currently replacing the filament because it was torn apart in the very first game. The fluid green PLA from 3D for Makers apparently isn't strong enough. It can handle more than 60 kilos of force, but I think we have to step it up a notch with the Lufcom nylon which can handle more than 20 kilos of force. Hopefully that's strong enough for these two powerhouses. While the rig is being prepared with a new filament, let's have a look at the game. All eight filament craving contestants start off from this winner bracket. Winners go through the next round and the losers go to the loser bracket, where they get one more chance to prove themselves worthy of the Optimus P1. Don will be announcing our contestants tonight to let you know what to expect in the next matches. Take it from here, Don. Thank you, John. This is the Micro Swiss MG. The milled aluminum body makes this an eye catcher. It has the industry shortest, highly constrained twin clad XT plated filament path of less than 41 millimeters. It has to compete against the Bontech QR. This big boy looks impressive and it has a proven and highly celebrated dual drive technology. Filament grinding and slippage is now a thing of the past. Look at that! Bontek is like a cheese grater! Micro Swiss won the game! Fuck yeah! This does not mean that Bontek is out of the game. It is one more chance to win in the loser bracket. Next up, E3D Revo Amera XS versus the Omnia Drop from Drop Effect. Yes, it's a milk. This is the E3D Regal Hemera Access with its weight of just 229 grams. This is the lightest and smallest extruder of the game. It is still capable of driving the entire E3D ecosystem. It has to compete against the drop effect, the second lightest of the game. This extruder is tailored to print exceptionally flexible filament. The planetary gear system makes this underdog cool as fuck. For the viewers at home, leave a comment who you think will win this round. The Omnia Drop's pull strategy looks just like its logo. Let's go to our next contestants. One of them has already proven itself. This is the heavily used, beaten up Dice Extruder Pro. It has the highest gear ratio of 5.65 to 1. This extruder has been pushed to its limits and has to compete against the Creality Sprite Extruder Pro. This new kid on the block has already been a game changer for many people. Let's find out if it's strong enough to win this battle. This design is holding on for its dear life. I think it's ready for its retirement. Maybe the die is just too worn out from all the projects it did. Dip rims have rims though. But is the sprite really that strong? We'll find out later. <laughs> this is the proper extruder. This thing is big, this thing is heavy, and is almost fully 3D printed out of peak like high performance engineering resin. It uses timing belts instead of gears for extra grip on the filament. It will compete against the stock extruder of the Optimus P1. This single geared extruder has to defend its current position on the mighty printer that everyone is fighting for.
first round is played, so let's take a look at the status. The Micro Swiss, Omnia Drop, Sprite and Prop Extruder have won the first round. Bontek, Revo Amera, Dice Extruder and Optimus have lost and go to the loser bracket. First match is between the Bontek and the E3D. Everything is set up and ready to go. is simply too strong for the E3D. This means that the E3D is out of the game. Next up, Dice Design fears the Optimus P1. Hopefully there will be a bit more sound this time. That was a lot more sound. <laughs> but um, it didn't help. The Optimus is still out of the game. Now we go to the winner bracket, where the Omnia Drop, the Sprite, the Micro Swiss, and the Proper Extruder will battle for the next round. We start with the Micro Swiss versus the Omnia Drop. Let's hear it for the next round. Micro Swiss is Beyblading the Omnia drop. I was just being told that the step mode driver, well, it's, it's not broken, but they can't guarantee the performance for the rest of the game, so it has to be replaced. Yeah, well, let's not take any chance on the performance of this rig. We do want a fair game. So, yeah, okay, yeah, that we need a new step mode driver, so this will take a while. This is going to take a bit longer than expected, unlike building a website with a sponsor, Squarespace. This was Daniel. Daniel wasn't using Squarespace. Now he is struggling with his poor performing website that can't be found, cannot be maintained. Now he has to live with the poor decisions that he has made in the past. This is Daniel now. Since I introduced him to Squarespace, his life dramatically improved. Now he can build his website within days and just a few mouse clicks. There are dozens of templates, they all look great. You can just slap on a template, put in some text, and you basically have built your website together. You can also build a portfolio or sell goods. And you have member areas, so dedicated sections of your page, which can be used to sell courses. What else is there to do? Well, they even have dedicated help center, adding content with blocks, connecting a domain, building emailing lists, creating projects, or using Google Workspace. So everything I was struggling with before, they got me. That's awesome, Daniel. Yep. If you want to build your own website, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if your website is ready for launch, go to squarespace.com slash proper printing, and you get 10% off of your website or domain on there. Okay, stepper motor driver is replaced. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, how did you do that, John? <laughs> I don't know, what the fuck? Creality Sprite Extruder Pro. Creality Sprite Extruder Pro. Okay. The next match will be between the Creality Sprite Extruder Pro and the proper extruder. Will the belts of the proper extruder be stronger than the gears of the Sprite? No mercy. For a moment I thought that the Sprite has won this one, but um, the proper extruder regained itself and eventually won this match. So the belts are indeed stronger than these gears. We've got one interesting loser bracket with the Sprite, Bontech, Dice Extruder and the Omnia Drop. We will start with the Bontech QR versus the Creality Sprite.
Sprite is spitting out his guts. Pieces of plastic are getting cleaned up again while the next contestants get ready for the next match. Dice Extruder Pro versus the Omnia Drop. Jesus. It's lifting its own way to win this one. Now we've got the last two contestants in the winning bracket. The unbeaten Micro Swiss and the proper extruder. Grip isn't the problem, but even this huge motor isn't enough for the strength of the Micro Swiss. Micro Swiss just owns this one. Let's take a look at the current situation. There are four contestants left. The Micro Swiss in the winning bracket and the Bond Tech, the Proper Extruder and the Omnia Drop in the loser bracket. First off, Bond Tech versus Omnia Drop. Okay, I that it needs to be replaced again. Again? Yep. Hey. <laughs> the steppers are placed and the rig is ready for the next match between the pump tag and the proper extruder. Just like the Micro Swiss, the huge motor isn't enough for this one. And now, the match we've started with. The Pontec versus the Micro Swiss. This time they switch places and let's see if they can perform just as well. Everything is set up. Gears are tightened, and let's see if the PLA will break again with this match. Okay, well, bring in the Louverton Nylon. Oh, this is what we want to see in the top of the screw wall. This is insane. The Marcus Swiss, oh, yes, there yes. it is. The oh, Marcus Swiss, he yes. takes the win. Oh, is. my God. The Marcus Swiss won again, and it has won the whole game. Well deserved because it stayed consistent throughout the whole game. It just obliterated everyone. These two were the only one capable of destroying the filament, so it's a clear winner. This yeah. was awesome. I, yeah, I'm very happy with how the matches went. Well, I hope you all enjoyed it. For the people here as well, I hope this was what you came for. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Oh, if you don't forget to. Thanks to our Patreon supporters, especially these guys. Your support helps a lot with these crazy projects. As always, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye! Waarom heb ik dit ook weer zo bedacht? Ja, ik weet niet. Nou kan iedereen zien dat ik dus niet met mijn vieze vette klauw aan het filament zit. Dat is helemaal zo. Oh, dat gaat best prima. Nice.
Ja, wel een goede kant op. Nice. Nou, hoeveel heeft hij nog gestuurd? 107. Nou, dan kan ik hier eens invullen. 107. Dan zou hij dus nu 100 moeten doen. Nou, ik zit nu op 100 mm. Mooi, dus dan is de extrusiefactor van deze dus het is 95. Ik heb alles gedocumenteerd dat we dit gewoon helemaal eerlijk doen. Ja, tof. Zo staat het ook in de gebruiksmaatje, hoor. Dat zou moeten. Ja. Ja, precies. Oei, wat de hel. Fucking hel. Oeps. Ik maak gewoon voor deze pro. Ik kan schroeven draaien. Ja hoor. <laughs> ja. En het werkt, hè? Ja. En dan gaan we gewoon naar. Uh... Oké, okay, dan maak je weer iets andere kant op. Richting een volt. Ja, hij staat weer uh, met de rechter mee. Ja? Ja. 3, 2, 1. Allemaal jongen. Wat de fuck. Nou, het werkt. Oké. Okay. Nice. Nog één keertje. Voor de zekerheid. Eén, twee. Dat is mooi. Great success. Jezus, wat is dit vet hè? Nou, let the games begin.